Praise God. I am Pastor David Shaw of Monument of Hope and Deliverance, where hope, and I do mean hope, changes everything. Again, we continue forth with our reading out of the book of Exodus, chapter 23 and 24. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thy hand with the wicked to be on the upright righteous witness. Thou shalt not follow the multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many of the are to waste arrest judgment. Neither shalt thou countenance a poor man in his cause. If thou meet thy enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. Thou shalt see the ass of him that hated thee lying under his burden and wouldest forbear to help him. Thou shalt surely help with him. Thou shalt not rest the judgment of thy poor in his cause. Keep thee far from the false matter and the innocent and righteous slay thou not. For I will not justify the wicked. And thou shalt take no gift for the gift blindeth the wise and to the end perverteth, perverteth the words of the righteous. Also thou shalt not oppress a stranger, for ye know the heart of a stranger, seeing ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. The six years thou shalt sow thy land, and shalt gather in the fruits thereof. But the seventh year thou shalt let it rest, and lay shall still, that the poor of thy people may eat. And what thou leave the beast of the field shall eat. In like manner thou shalt deal with thy vineyard and with thy olive yard. Six days shalt thou do thy work, and on the seventh day thou shalt rest, that thine ox and thy ass may rest, and the son of the handmaid and the stranger May the refresh may be refreshed, and in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the name of the, our God, other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Three times thou shalt keep the feast upon me in the year, thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days as I commanded thee. In the time appointed of the month, Abid, for in thou cometh out of Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. And the feast of harvest the first fruits of thy labors, which thou hast sown in the field, in the feast of ingathering, which is in the end of the year, when thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field, three times in the year all thy males shall appear before the Lord God. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread, neither shall 
the fat of my sacrifice remain upon the morning. The first of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring into the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see it a kid in his mother's milk. Behold, I send an angel before thee in a place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy upon thine enemies, and an adversary unto thine adversaries. And my angel shall go before thee, and bring thee into the Amorites, and the Hittites, and the Pizzerites, and the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Jubasites, and in all I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do ap after their work. But thou shalt utterly overthrow them, and quite break down their images. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and ye shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be burdened in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. I will send my fear before thee, and I will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come, and I will make all thy enemies turn their backs unto thee. And I will send hornets before thee, which shall drive out the Hittite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite from before thee. And I will not drive them out from before thee in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beast of the field multiply against thee. Thy little and little I will drive them out from before thee until thy be in increased the in inherit the land and I will set thy bonds from the Red Sea even unto the sea of the Philistines and from the desert unto the river for I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand and thou shalt drive them out from before, from out before thee. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto thee. Chapter 24 And he said unto Moses, Come up unto the Lord, thou and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye after afar off. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up to him. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, and all the judgments. And all the people answered with one voice, and said, All the words which the Lord had said will we do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and rose up early in the morning, and built an altar under the hill, the twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men and children 
of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of ox unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it on the basins, and half of the blood and sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, All that the Lord hath said will we do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. Then went up Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abaha, Abba, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet, as it were, a paved wall work of a sapphire stone, and as it were, the body of heaven in his clearness. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel, he laid not his hand also. They saw God and did eat and drink. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me into the mount and be there, and I will give thee tables of stone and a law and commandments which I have written, and thou mayest teach them. And Moses rose up, and his minister Joshua, and Moses went up into the mount of God. And he said unto the elders, Tarry ye here for us, until we come again unto you. And behold, Aaron, her, are you with you? If any man have any matters to do, let him come unto them. And Moses went up to the mount, and the cloud covered the mount, and the glory of God about, about upon the Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud, and the sight of the glory of the God was like a dorm devouring flower on the top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. And Moses went up into the midst of the cloud and got him up into the mount. And Moses was in the mount 40 days and 40 nights. That concludes the reading of chapters 23 and 24 of the book of Exodus. Thank you and God bless you.